Welcome to my petal card video tutorial. I want to show you how simple it is to make these cute little boxes. These I fashioned using some punches from Stampin' Up, a little chick and a little bunny. And I'm going to show you how simple it is using the Stampin' Up petal card punch. What makes the petal card punch interesting is that not only does it cut, but it also scores in the middle. And I've got a really important tip for you. Um, when I first got my pedal card punch, I did not get a clean cut and clean scores, always on one side. And I have a great tip. Instead of pushing at the back where the lever is, push right on the circle. And I can tell you with assurance it's going to cut clean and score just the way you want it to. So I've cut four of these to make a box. And each one, you can see I snipped off the end. And I'm going to do that on the one we just cut together. And I'm going to use some snail. Make sure you go from the top, get adhesive from the top to the bottom of that last petal because it's going to need, that's going to be essentially the seam. And then I'm lining up the ridges all the way across. When you're doing the petals, go on the inside where the ridges are and then the outside is clean. That's a little piece of sticky tape that we'll talk about in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold on the score lines. Very simple. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold this direction. My last little guy. So I'm going to, I'm going to use sticky tape on this last seam because it essentially is what's going to hold the body of the box together. So I put some sticky tape there already and I'm going to line up the ridge again. And I do this step next because then I can get from the inside and press it down. Um, the next step is really easy. You just layer in one tab, another tab, the final tab, all these on top. And then the last tab you kind of tuck one underneath oops, and one on top. So it gives you that little bit of a pinwheel effect. And it'll straighten out once I tie. Isn't that cute? Even that's cute. And then, of course, you are going to need to plop in a candy kiss because it works perfectly. And I'm going to go ahead and add this little bunny I made. This is from the, um, the Blossoms Petal Punch and a three-quarter inch circle punch and then the new kind of I call it the chubby oval and then my heart is from the heart to heart punch and I layered a bitty button on top and then one of our new rhinestone jewels and honestly I like this kind of simple look I started out trying to draw faces and realized um, I needed to stick with paper but I think just the little back end and of course I think that little bottom is so cute with the heart um, is plenty of bunniness for Easter. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that from the inside. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Fold one in, two in, three in, and then the fourth one kind of goes underneath the bottom one and then one on the top to create that little pinwheel effect. And the last touch is just to take some, I've got some pink taffeta ribbon. I think it's pretty in pink. Just for the last finishing touch. Of course, this will be the most, the biggest challenge. <laughs> it shouldn't be though, it shouldn't be. Okay, I'm gonna hold that down. And bring it around. And tie. You know what, I don't like that. <laughs> I was too busy talking. I'm gonna do it the way I normally do it. Or as I pull it tight. Hold it down, bring one side around and through. Then I hold one side and pull on the other. And that gives me a prettier little knot. And that's going to keep it together. There's the little bunny. You zhuzh this a little bit. I'm going to snip off, snip off the edges. Go this way with it. Too long. See, I do these things too. I'm sure you're all saying, oh good, I'm glad she does that too. So we've got our little bunny. 
So here they are. Here's the, the stars of our show. These little bitty boxes. I'm really excited about them. I had so much fun playing around. And here they, here's how they look from the top. This one's still going to make me crazy, but let me just zhuzh it. There. Now I think it's cute. So thank you for joining me for my video. Um, if you have questions, I have more details on all the punches that I used on my Stampin' Pretty blog. Bye-bye.